Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Cool. <laughs> oh, Kim. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Kim Will Pond Crafts. You guessed it, that's right, I am Kim Wollapon, and today we will be crafting. That's right, I said it. Today we will be doing a quick craft. We will be doing some Halloween hair clips. Cause I love me a good hair accessory. And I love a quick craft, who doesn't? So today's quick craft, we'll be using a piece of paper, pencil, scissors, some hair clips, some felt, Ooh, some tacky glue and a needle and thread. So I will be showing you all how to make a little cute ghost hair clip today. I will be using this hair clip. They're snap hair clips. Bend and snap. Whoa, yeah. So I'm going to trace our perimeter. That's how much space that we wanna use on our hair clip. And they can go over, they don't have to stay exactly on, but you wanna make sure that you know how big you could make it if you wanted to. So now I'm going to make a ghostly shape. Ooh. Little Yui, and I give it a little, some wigglies. And nothing has to be perfect. It's a ghost, it's a thing. Nothing's perfect, right? Am I right or am I right or am I right? right. So now we've made our little template. Here's our little ghost. And now I will just cut out our ghost. Cut out this piece first. Boop -a -doop -boo. I love Halloween. I'm so excited. I love October. I love fall. My favorite fall activity is probably crunching leaves. Oh. That is quite the ASMR. So we're making our template so that cutting into our felt is a little bit simpler. And we're not just going all willy nilly. Cause felt is very hard to trace on. You could do it with marker, but it will bleed through. And because we are using white, we definitely don't wanna do that. We don't want any bleed. I mean, it is Halloween, so maybe we do. Maybe our ghost wants to be a little bloody, who's to say? But our paper is stiff enough for us to trace along. So I'm gonna cut out a little bit of a square. There are some tips for working with acrylic felt. You really wanna make sure that when you're cutting, that you're cutting small incisions. This will give you an easier and cleaner line, especially when it comes to those little wigglies at the bottom. You can also stick your acrylic felt in the freezer. It makes it a little bit stiffer and a little bit easier to cut. And the great thing about having these templates now is that you can use them for other crafts. So you could just keep your templates in a safe little envelope. And then you'll always have that template now. I'm gonna just clean her up just a little bit. This little ghostly, make that a little bit cleaner. One side is looking a little too uneven for me. Great, now we have our basic little ghost shape. And we'll just double check that it does fit on our hair clip. And it will. It's giving me slightly like octopus vibes. There you are. So now we're gonna make a face for our little ghost. Taking some black felt, take some up from up here so I'm not wasting a whole chunk. And the fun thing about making the face for your ghost is that it doesn't have to be perfect. When you're making the eyes, you could just eyeball it. <laughs> That's such a dumb joke. It's like such a dad joke. So yeah, I'm just gonna make some, I'm gonna cut some circles around. I'll make another one. It's so fun. The eyes don't even have to be the same shape if you don't want to. I think it's actually more charming if it doesn't, if they are a little bit different shapes and sizes. And I'm gonna do a bigger, I'm gonna go for an ovally kind of shape for the mouth. We're going for cute Halloween hair clips. Now I've got my face, maybe that, that mouth might be a little bit too big. 
we'll do a little bit of trimming. And with felt, it's really easy. It's always gonna be easier to go smaller than to make something bigger. Oh, excellent. Oh, 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 oh. That is so cute. So here's our face right now. Now we will take our tacky glue. You can use tacky glue or you can use fabric glue for this part. And we will just glue the eyeballs down. A couple of things. If you notice that you're getting some uh, black shavings from their felt onto the white felt, when it's all dried, you can use a little sticky roller to clean that right up. What's fun with this is you can add whatever you want. So if you wanted to add a bow or you wanted to add, you wanted to make a little top hat for it, you totally could. And now we will let that dry for about five minutes. A few minutes later. All right, friends, so it, it has been five minutes and our face is now dried. So here we are. So to give it a little bit of extra feel, because it's very flimsy right now, it would not be very strong on our hair clip. We're going to double layer it by gluing it on to another piece of felt. So we're gonna use our good old trusted tacky glue. Come on, tacky glue. And we'll just trace along the outside of our ghost and do a little bit in the middle. Rather than trace a second piece, I will just put it directly onto another piece of felt. And now I will let that dry. So while I am letting that dry, I will show you some other choices for clips that you could use. And they all have different uses, right? So I think if you are nervous about the bending and the flexing of a snap clip. These little grabby clips, it's like gator clips, that's how I call them, because they have these little teeth, are great because it doesn't bend, it's very stiff, and they're great. I really like a barrette, because you can make the barrette, you can sew it on the, Ooh! I like the barrette, because you can sew on the ends as well for that extra security, and I do really like that feature of the barrette. Barrette? Yeah, I'm not thinking beret, I'm thinking barrette. Okay, so it should be okay enough now for us to start cutting. Cutting? Where am I from? From Brooklyn, Kim. Brooklyn! So we're gonna cut around. So what we're doing in this step and the step that follows is just stabilizing it so that it is firm, it's sealed, we feel confident in its wearability, in its durability, and they're fast. Also, you don't have to take these steps. You could just go right to the clip. But that's not that's not my plan of action. I like things to be durable and wearable and usable, especially when it's a piece of clothing or an accessory. If we're using it, wearing it, it should be strong. It should be as strong as we are. So here we are. We're ghosts. You could just glue this onto a popsicle stick right here and make yourself a little ghost puppet. That's that's an idea. So now we will take our thread and sew along the edges. And I like to do this just for the sake of security. Where's my sheep? Oh, sheep? Sheep is oh where, oh where? My sheep are my, my pin cushion. Thank you, sheep, bye to you. Very, very nice. So I'm going to knot the end. I'm gonna wrap it around my finger, cross it with my thumb and roll it off to create my knot. And now when I start this, I'm gonna look for a pocket in here that may be a little bit more open, like right here. So it's easier for that knot to hide itself. I'm gonna go around the edge and just sew it down. I was really thinking I should get some like glow-in-the-dark felt for this, but I didn't have any. And do they even make that? You could have a lot of fun. Fun with felt. That should be a segment on Kim Pond Crafts. I love felt. I think there's so many things you can do with it. Hair clips, earrings, cozies, art. So now I'm just going around. This is probably the most time-consuming uh, part of this craft. If there are any children out there watching, Please have your parents help you do this, your parents or your guardians do this for you or um, assist you in this. I'm really excited for Halloween. Something I wanted to share. If you happen to get glue on 
your black felt and it looks a little gray. What you can do is take a marker, you could take a fabric marker uh, and whatever color your felt is and just gently color over it. A hot tip for me, but I think that's important too. You want it to look the way that you want to look. Also, don't be afraid to use other mediums such as paint. When you're doing a project like this, you can take out that puffy fabric paint, give your little ghostly some blood drips. Are you Night of the Living Dead under there? Like all bloody veins and pus? Or a bow, and we're almost. I will seal this in just by going along the edge here a little bit in, giving myself that little loop right there. I'm bringing it back through, pulling that tight, going back in through that loop, moving slowly so I don't knot my work. And here we go. And now I will trim that edge. And very nice. Great work, everyone. Woo woo! So here we are. We have sewn all the way around. Well, this ghost looks so sweet. I'm really into this. This is so cute. And I will take my clip. I will open my clip to glue it down. So when you're gluing it down, there are a few things that I just want to say. So there are several types of glues you can use on your hair clips. You can use E6000, hot glue, or tacky glue. So E6000 is basically crazy glue. Tacky glue is what I've been using and I will use that as well. I think that's probably the simplest uh, glue to use, especially if you're already using it. Um, and hot glue works as well. But if you are planning on using crazy glue or hot glue and you are a child, please ask assistance and guidance from your guardian. Hot glue gets very hot, very fast, and no, we don't want any burns. Okay, so I am going to actually figure out where I want mine placed, and I am thinking I want, do I want it down here? I'm gonna place this one at the end so it gets a little bit more coverage on the back. That's how it will lie on the back. And I am just gonna mark out with my glue. And I will place yeah, like so. Now I will let it dry. So I prepared several other hair clips that I thought would be fun to show you and some other ideas. So I made a little jack-o'-lantern. You can see on this one that I used a little bit of that fabric marker just to trace around the outside and to give it that depth. You can also achieve that with sewing. So cute. Just stick it right in. This is also a snap clip. I did already make an, a ghostly friend, but I like the ghost. The ghost was cute and I thought so simple, so adorable. And then I thought, well, when I wear my hair half up and half down and I want a Halloween hair accessory, I made this adorable bat barrette. And you can see on the end, it's sewn down, but that'll go. You well, let's just do this for now. Basically just like a bat crown right now. A bat in place of this old rat. <laughs> I feel fancy. A few minutes later. It took about 10 to 12 minutes for our craft to dry. But here we are. Here's our little ghostly friend. I did sew the back just so it had a little extra protection. Goodbye, Jack. Hey, hey. Jack! <laughs> and I will put wait wait let's let's switch these wait I just did that it's okay this here wow I love them <laughs> they're so cute they're so fun and they are so unbelievably quick for a craft Tippy what do you think what do you think of my craft <laughs> wow that level of enthusiasm who can ask for anything more and that's all we've got for today friends if you enjoyed making this quick craft with me you put it down in the comments you like you subscribe you ding that bell bing 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 that's the sound of the bell ding -a -ling -a. and i will see you all next week friends bye